go to a fun video. Uh, I put uh, teeth on this bucket, and this is the first time trying it out, playing with it on this machine. I will get a little bit more into the, the bucket and the tractor and other videos. Um, but teeth buckets on all the bigger machines I've used always really liked them, and, and I actually really like it on this machine, and you'll see it makes the bucket much more useful for doing a lot of other things. And this 648 we restored last year, there's a lot of questions on it. And I'll try to answer some here, and we'll do a full video on this, so I've been meaning to do it for a while. Uh, this machine's usually our dedicated fork machine, and so we's uh, here for unloading trucks and moving equipment around and whatever you need to do with forks. So it's got the wide flotation kit, uh, the gusseted rear, so it's basically a backhoe setup without a back so backhoe. And uh, the wide tires and the wide axles make uh, stability much nicer, especially with the fork machine. And these tires, they're awesome tires, they dig. Uh, they're OTR, I think they're called Lawn Tracks or something like that. And uh, the best tires I've found for this setup. Um, traction Reverse is not nearly as well as Ford, but still very good. Far better than the uh, stock tires that came on these wide flotation kits and the stock tires that came on uh, any of the loaders for that matter. The original 15 inch uh, ag tires that were on them left a bit to be desired. They were just not a great tire, but that was older technology. And then the uh, R4 skid steer tires on these machines, just the traction's horrible. Uh, the tires are just too hard. They're not made to bite deep. Uh, they're great if you're on concrete, on asphalt, on hard pack. Uh, the R4 skid steer style tires do well. If you're in dirt, mud, anything soft, lawn, they don't do well. Uh, I know some guys like them, but that's because they haven't had anything else that's worth a darn. Uh, but these ones, these things bite incredible. The same tires are on the front. This machine's got 750 pounds of counterbalance in the weight box itself, plus the tires are loaded. I have not been able to find a set of wheel weights that fit into these rims. They're 12 inch rims, but the actual inside diameter uh, is slightly smaller, so they really take like an 11 inch wheel weight. And I just have not been able to find anything um, to fit that will look halfway decent at that. So the teeth, uh, as you can see in the beginning, we were grubbing out the brush. And it does a great job grubbing out the brush and, and being able to leave some dirt depending on the angle of your, your bucket there. Uh, a lot of people say the teeth make leveling hard. Not the case if, if you can operate, as you can see through this whole video. We're trying to level an area for a, a, a shelter to put up to cover some tractors during the winter. And, and The video doesn't show it real well, but this is extremely uneven. You'll notice towards this end here, there's a big drop off. If you just watch the video, the tractor drops off. Uh, the, the video just doesn't show it do it justice so I'm, I'm trying to take some of this uh, material at this higher ground and and uh, level it off where this where the uh, shelter is going to sit and then uh, obviously clean up some debris and, and stuff but there's no problem running a straight edge with these teeth and, and doing some grading forward and back a um, little different than grading with a, a straight edge bucket but they dig a hundred times better, they grub way way better than everything about grubbing. You can actually pick up a little bit of debris and material and you can run the teeth forward and back and, and just uh, loosen up the top layer of the soil if you want and then go down a little bit. So I really like the teeth of the bucket. We re reinforced the front edge of this bucket quite a bit, did a lot of work. This is actually, these teeth that are on here are actually not the teeth. These are what the teeth actually pin to. I haven't put the teeth on because they're actually like a full-size tooth for a, a bigger machine, like a, I'd say a, a 40 horsepower tractor loader backhoe. So these are just the mounts that the teeth actually pin on, and I might pin them on just to play with. But uh, the chance of me wearing these down on a little machine like this, you know, how, as much as I'm going to use the teeth, it'll be a long time where the pin-on teeth are bigger and they're replaceable. But I may throw them on and play with it. I don't know how they're going to look or if they're going to be too aggressive digging. You can see I'm backtracking here with the back of the blade, leveling everything out. It works good here. I'm just kind of scratching up the surface of some of the high spots. There's a bunch of ledge and rock under here too, so I didn't want to push down too hard and, and bring all that up. Just trying to get this uh, level enough to, to set up a, a, a shelter on here to park some more tractors underneath. I'll have a video on the shelters too. We've uh, actually got three of them and we'll do a review on them. Three of the same brand that are 12 by 20 and, and so far I've been very happy with them. So make sure you, you follow along for that review. Uh, the 648 
Also, the relief valve I need to adjust on it. I have never adjusted it. I know it's low. I know it's set low. Uh, it's just one of those things I have not got to, so you'll notice it. It does squeal uh, more often, especially with the turning and the uh, lift, not necessarily the drive. And we also got a bigger pump on this machine, so that's probably contributing to it too. This machine with this pump, it works out pretty, pretty darn good. In high range, you, you know you got a bigger pump there, the motor feels it, but it's not horrible. It works really well. High range in this tractor with this axle we put in, it's got a lower high range gear, so it's actually really useful with the loader. Well, most of the times, high range tends to be pretty fast in these uh, machines. And um, almost just strictly for transport, where this machine I run it in high range almost all the time, unless I'm doing some, some work or where I want to slow it down. So the lowered high range with this rear end we put in this machine works good, with, especially with this uh, bigger pump. The pump's very strong, very reactive, and it does uh, pick up the speed, but here, most of the time when I'm running this machine, it's quarter to half throttle at most, most of the time. So the, the speed works out really well with this pump at those RPMs, and the engine handles it just fine. I don't have to run this thing at, you know, half, three quarters full throttle to get work done and it makes it nice that way and it leaves you a lot of reserve hydraulic power and uh, speed if you want it to raise the throttle up some more but that's that's part of the reason this relief is, is squealing more often and getting its way out of adjustment but it works it does the trick it lifts a ton as it is you'll see here a uh, back dragon with the teeth just making some wind rows of some debris and the teeth work really well for that and you can actually you know angle the teeth and leave a little bit more dirt and let it screen through this machine's pretty heavy as it is you notice it doesn't want to spin very much but it will break traction if I you know hit the pedal pretty hard uh, again the machine itself I'm gonna guess is probably 1500 ish pounds and then we've got uh, I think eight gallons in each rear tire so you're talking another 150 ish pounds there and then you got me and you got the 750 pounds on there you know, this machine's pretty hefty. You're talking, I would guess, pushing 3,000 pounds, 2,500 or 3,000, probably closer to 3,000. Again, you can curl this bucket right back, almost get right under the tires. And now I'm just scraping the wind row of the debris out there, at the same time leveling this a little bit. To adjust the governor, it's a little bit sensitive, especially with this bigger pump, it reacts uh, almost a little too quick. So just gotta move the spring onto another hole probably. But you'll notice, uh, sometimes it sounds like it's surging, it's not, it's just the engine and the governor reacting really quick. So I just wanted to show you quick, have a little fun. Be sure to subscribe. Go to our website for parts, for tons of information on Case Ingersoll, for lots of photos. CaseIngersollTractors.com This is the end result. Just one of these shelters, the 12x20. We're going to fill this up. It's only got a few guys in here now, but just give you a real quick. what we were trying to do. Pretty high as well. And there's one more over there we got. And then we got one next door to the shop.